Yes, I look very tired and cringy right now, but this is a video on oh, my remote schedule in the morning, or just my remote schedule. And so far, what I've done is do my guinea pigs that are back there, and gotten breakfast. I'm having more breakfast. But I'm, I haven't really showed you like my guinea pig's cage or anything, so I'm going to be showing you that. Hold on. I just want to turn it away. Like, oh, it's like running in there whenever I come over. Because they're just getting used to the norm. The cage came yesterday and I set it up right on time. Because it literally came at like 5 o'clock at night. It was really weird. But yeah, so this is their cage. I think they like it because they always run into their little hideout. Like that, because I think they like it. So, that's cool. But, I haven't done really anything so far. So Before we, like, completely begin this video, I want to say that we finally have named the white one. And we've decided Snuggles. And I'm really happy about that. Because <clears throat> he's a really big snuggler. And Coco and Peanut, they're really... Peanut is such a nice little bundle, and, like, she's just so cute. Um, and then Coco, she's really cute, too, and she, like, has a very vocal. Um, she's very vocal. Um, <laughs> but she started to get weird. She was, like, starting to get physical or, like, aggressive, and I was like, what's going on? But I think it's because there's just so much going on recently. Like, we got them, like, an hour away, and... They went from a box to the floor because we were, like, playing with them a lot and trying to get them to, like, run around because they'd been, they're in this little box. And then that was for one day, basically. And then the next day, we, uh, which was yesterday, we were, like, waiting for the cage to come all day and it came at, like, five. So they were in the box all day. We were trying to, like, move them around. And she started to get scared and anxious, I think. And she didn't, like, know what, which was her home or anything and then we brought the cage in and she also was like acting weird but she seems to act be acting really happy so i'm gonna be like leaving them alone let them adapt to their new home and stuff like that because like this day the whole day today i want them to be able to adapt to the their new cage <coughs> to their new cage and um i'm gonna let them adapt for a while like probably like two three days I'm gonna hold them and like check up on them. And they've all come in out, came out, sorry, come in. Came out to eat so far. And, and they're like, they seem happy and healthy, so that's good. And I've checked on them once today, but I haven't been like taking them out and holding them because they have their cage now and that's supposed to be their new home, so. Um, that's an update on my guinea pigs, a very long one, sorry. Um, but now what I do is I usually journal, so I'm going to do that to, like, begin my day. And then I write all my, the stuff I have to do. But I actually, first I have to go help my mom with the animals, my brother and my mom, with the animals. Which is, like, the turkeys and the chickens and the goats and chicks. So, yeah. I'm going to take you, actually. You get to see. Whoa, I almost slept in the ice. So, this is... But it's like in the morning. Here. All the animals are like wanting to like bed, get water. And I'm gonna show you the chickens first. Stupid glove on the lawn. Chickens! How cute. That door won't open. It's like kind of snowing. Not really, but kind of. Look at the space I can get over there. Good job, man. Water! Yeah, I'm gonna go help with the goats because no one looks at You got it. He's got it. But there's a lot. You gotta do the turkeys up there and then you pay. And then the chickens you pay. And then we gotta get give the goat food and water and then milk two feet um slept well, I did suck um milk 
two goats usually inside. Very pretty outside this morning. We're like hey, hello. Hold on. This is Safira. Safira. Can you see? Can you see Safira? Who's that? Who's that? Um, chickens scattered everywhere. That's squirt. I honestly can't see how you guys are looking because um I can't see how you what you see because I just can't uh, have to change it. Uh. Hi. It's cold outside. All the branches are like coated in a little bit of snow. Yeah. You're gonna love the turkeys, though. they're really cute. I'm gonna get the chickens food. You can get it too. Yeah. This is gonna film. I'm gonna go get their food. I'm filming this video. Oh. That's gonna purr. Just kidding. These are the turkeys. Oh, you can't see, dang it. Oh well, but first I have to do one. You can hear them probably. They don't like that. <laughs> they don't like the phone. Yeah, you liked it? You like your food though. It's great. They don't feel it usually. Now I want to show you guys. Hold on. Can you see them? No, you can see them. Hold on here. These birds, they're very nice and sweet. Like we have this mini chicken. Her name is Chickles. She's like probably our tiniest chicken, and they can she can sleep with them, and you know, it'll they like won't hurt her. I mean, it will be super nice to her. They just like you know. Hang out, so they're really nice for the little turkeys. Hold on. Um, this is Susie. She said is very skittish, very scared. This is Sephira and Scarlet. They love everybody. Yeah, they like to say hello. They like to what are you trying to nibble on my button? What you doing? Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute, Scarlett. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, that's you. Oh, you're trying to give it kisses. Oh. It's squirt. You're very sweet, too. Come here. Can you see her? I don't know if you guys can see her. What you doing? This is Scarlet Senna's Skittish Senna. I call her Skittish Senna because she's very scared of many things. But, yes! Chicken! You see him? And a 
never know if you can see or not, so I'm going to start this video. Sticks. Those are things. Yep. So this is the end of my chores. Um, I'm bringing down the milk. What does that even say? I don't know how the fresh stickers say. Oh, okay. My fingers are very cold. Even though they're in clothes. This one, the one I'm holding you guys with, is it because I have to be able to hold something. Um, yeah, then I, after this, I have to process the milk. And this is going to be a part one to my remote schedule. Ooh, slippery, slippery ice, slippery ice. Our ground is like ice all over. It's crazy. Uh, yeah. Be in the house soon. Hold on. Okay. So now what we're going to do. Then... Oh, it's been videotaping for 11 minutes. Oh. Excuse me. I need to eat them up. No, you don't, Mom. You do not know what you do. I'm not the mom. Hey! Oh, oh I I got a um, mask, guys. I guess he does, because he's a weirdo. Okay, yeah. so. I'm going to pour the milk into the jars. And this is very clean. They use two things, so it stays <gasps> no, it's not fun. It's not new. Yeah? Okay, well, I'm going to do my breakfast, so I'm getting nutrition. I'm getting nutrition? I'm going to go out into the wilderness. Where was that? It was not going. And put the lid on. Was it or was it not going? It was not going. Camera now it is though. Oh yay! I'm gonna put the date on them. And it's the 25th. Okay. So I put that in the refrigerator, and that milk is good for um until February 1st. So, and this is part one of my morning. My remote morning schedule. Then I'm going to get into part two. And I'm going to end this video now.